We have stopped off in Elgin. We have now entered Murray and didn't manage to film the grand entrance to, to Murray nor to Elgin, but that's okay. So we'll just have a look around Elgin and then we're gonna go to Burrowhead. For some reason, when I try to think about it, uh, I think of Peterhead. <laughs> so yeah, Elgin, then Burrowhead. It's the cathedral down there. It's a pretty view. Sometimes it's fine just to see things through a fence. We're actually looking for the museum. Elgin Museum. Open Wednesdays to Sundays, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Down in town, there's a big house called Plumpton House. It's our pub, actually. Oh, right. uh, there's a pub that closed in the first few years, and somebody else opened it up again last year. This man is as tall as Connor. <laughs> Spectre stone. A Ross Isle man. Or was a Rose Isle man? Rose Isle. Down the leaf stone. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I can see the bird. Mm. Oh, and it's so cute. Oh, the bar had balls. Okay. Called a coracle. Looks so interesting. Wait. I am filming the coracle. Black well, because hi. Look at this fierce kitty, oh my god, it's so fierce. Oh, that face. And here's a Normal world cat as well. That looks like a massive pigeon, you know. That's a capricale. It's a capricale, but it looks like a wood pigeon. I see. But a massive yeah. one. So strange. Well, maybe that's what capricales are. Right? Maybe. Is another wild kitty. This display reminds me of Perth Museum. Funnily enough, oh, he's that one big boy. Jesus, it's those that we always hear but never see. Fossils. This thing. Animal. Ooh. Oh, he's cute as well. Mm hmm. Ah, 
Ah, this is familiar because uh, near where we live, they also have an uh, information board about this animal. Look at this little guy. He looks like he could bite something off. An armored predator. Fierce. There's a preview of what we're after later on. There's these caves where they found cove seaware pottery. Yeah, I, I think it was quite from yesterday, wasn't it? Good stuff, but take it to the National Galleries rather than here, which is... Well, we find the Coase Pottery. It's rather simple. And then some more items that were found during the Coase Sea excavations. This is an interesting looking box. It looks like it has strange little cats on it. Oh, there's a little kitty. Well, here's Burrowhead, and right there we are, it's the visitor center, the white building, and there is a bit of parking down there, so, so yeah, Burrowhead is a medieval Pictish hill fort, um, it's right by the sea, hopefully we're gonna find out more about it in the visitor center. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the key to the well, which I like to open. Ooh, there we are. There's a sign here. It's not wet on the stair, so it should be fine. Do you hear the noise? Oh, the echo. Uh huh. Well, here we are. There's an opening there. I suppose I would have been well opening, perhaps. It's not the kind of water that I would drink these days, but yeah. Hmm. You can sort of see the edge. The steps definitely like, extend it down into the water. Medieval steps would that be when they're from? No. It might even be older. Older than medieval. Well, Pictish, early medieval. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they look like they've been 
made out of rock and there's a few new ones added to the mix some interesting stones here as well don't know if that's just the water mm. or whether the, those are cup marks it could be either I must miss the part where <laughs> they're saying it might have been a ritual drowning pool or a baptistry so yeah that's the well just notice the wall there just for just recorded so the fact that it's there So, we are trying to get to Sculptor's Cave, which is one of the caves along the coast. And I think they're one of the two caves where they found archaeological remains. And perhaps we can even get down to it. So, we have... <laughs> we found the first of the caves, but this is not the way down. We're gonna have to... Um, Possibly go around the other side. There's another cave there. Look at this pretty stack. Nice. I think that's the Sir Robert Stables cave. Aha! Uh -huh. He's made it to the beach! But now I have to make it down to the beach. There's cool. And a rope. I see. We find a few sea anemones. They're all jellied up. Waiting for the tide to come back. We don't want the tide to come back because we don't want to get trapped. But uh, this is really beautiful. This is amazing. Just look at those massive boulders. Somewhat of a cave. It's not, not particularly large, but uh, some of the Kofsi burials were found in smaller caves. So that could be one of the contenders for that. Get a bit of rubbish in there, but this cave is actually deeper than it looks at first glance. So, Here's a small cave. It's really just quite small. Tiny cave up there. So yeah, basically there's lots of caves along here. And some of them had burials, which uh Bronze Age burials. Bronze Age, early Iron Age. Yeah. Oh yeah, I found the rope and the ladder up there. So this is going to be a way back up. This is not so much a cave, but more where the sea has eroded stuff away. But you could uh, take shelter from the rain. Another pretty low cave. And those beautiful formations in the rock. And a little hole there. Uh, this is a massive cave. I don't want to go inside. It's in the way of the pigeons. Oh, literally. It's 
hard to describe. This cave is amazing. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Sculptress Cave. And I do see, yeah, I see a sign actually. Here's a sign and yeah, plenty of graffiti. Probably not pic actually that one might be pictish, like an original. Uh, oh no wait, yeah, it's there. So that means there should be a fish somewhere. The fish is right next to this symbol, so that is the the pictish um, carving. Quite spacious. I suppose if the tide wasn't coming in, then I might have done as a as a place to live. So I think that's another Pictish carving here, and I think that's the one with the three bits on the side. And then these interesting lines there. <laughs> More to my Yeah, lots of graffiti. <laughs> Somebody left some runes as well. Mmm. Looks like people have left offerings. Candles. Little uh, feathers and stones. Yeah. So I found the other carving. I don't know if the the person, so a person, right next to it. I mean, that kind of looks like a person in the middle, doesn't it? Fascinating. So that's the the West Passage, which has been originally boarded up. So yeah, that's a sculptor's cave, named after the sculptors. So they found what they call a Romano-British hearth here, which I think that just means that it dates from the Roman period. And they've also found a burial from that time of somebody who was decapitated. Another small side cave, right next to the Sculptor's Cave. So we are now making our way back to the ladder and the rope. And hopefully, hopefully the tide is not obstructing any of our passages. Here's the, the ladder and the rope. Yeah, it's a tough bit. Oh. Yeah, what I mean, like, even... <laughs> Shit. Uh, even though this is here... Oh my god. Yeah. Is... We made it back to the top. Yeah. This is our possibly last destination for today because 
I might want to see the Witcher Stone, we'll see. But we are at Dufus Castle. And it's looking pretty good. I'm excited to explore. Okay, so that is the wet ditch that encircles the castle, which you can see from the air. And that is the tower that collapsed. Oh my god, somebody climbing on the wall. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go in. Hmm, it's definitely wet. Okay, there's a big wall. And there's another big wall over there. So there's quite a lot left. There's a sign on that wall. Uh, oh, that's a road. Ooh, nice. The road to the castle. Oh, the kitchen. <laughs> Note a waste outlet to your left. Okay. There's an oven here. Oh. No, but I can still sort of see. Somebody's walking there. There you can see the dark ring that's the circular ditch that goes all the way around the, the castle. Another postern. Have a look at this wall. And there's an additional ditch for defense, I suppose. Some bird built its nest inside of this nook here. <sighs> ah, you may be right. Is it not a bit steep? It is rather steep. Mm-hmm. It's uh I mean that's the thing, it's not um it's interesting what it said. It's not natural, it's man made in the sense they're having to use like modern masonry to like keep it like this. Oh yeah, okay. Because it's uh because it's just so unnaturally kind of steep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh wow, there's a whole village that would have um, been in this field, I suppose. And then the castle up on the top of that one is a timber one. So that would have been the original. Yeah. Some rooms. Oh, cellar it says. On uh, I think that one is a cellar as well. Mm, it's time to go up to the top. There's are some solid walls. Oh. Porter's Lodge. There's a second floor there. Let's see. Where? Help. Oh god, I fell. Not too bad. <sighs> there we are. Okay. Prison pit. Lovely. Um, I'm stair to Lord's Hall. Stair to the Lord's Hall. Presumably this. And then this way. Ah, here's the collapsed tower. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. Here's the rest. 
rest of the castle. So this is the lower hall. You can see the holes where the beams used to be. And then the Lord's Hall up on the second floor. Yeah, I don't know if that's like entirely stable. Looks a bit makeshift. Mm. Yeah, nice little seat. Let's have a look at the view from this window. Well, yeah, the view is not bad. Looks like there used to be maybe iron bars in this window, so like, so crisscrossing, down and then across. And then there's a small window up there as well. This window is a bit broken though. Um, maybe they fixed it with concrete, but yeah, that castle, I wonder why it's so beaten up. What do you think? Did somebody bombard it or was there an earthquake in this area? Does it not say on any of the signs what happened to it? Um, we need to investigate. The reason they're giving is that they build a very heavy stone structure on old earthworks and apparently the earthworks were not able to carry such a heavy weight and so this tower collapsed so it's possible that um, this may have happened at the same time from just the, the tremor of uh, this tower collapsing it might have caused further damage to the building but it did not cause any more of the building to collapse. So that's us done with Duffus Castle and I like it because it's kind of unique with the collapsed tower and everything. Um, it's maybe not the prettiest castle I've ever seen but I still like it. You should visit if you happen to be in the area. Before we settle, there's <laughs> a little room tour. It's a tiny thing, just a bed. A little cupboard corner, which hopefully one of them is a fridge. And let's see. Oh, oh. And <laughs> the bathroom is massive. I see, so that's what a wet room is. Okay, it's a shower without a curtain. I've never used one. Um, the, uh, um, place the hall that I stayed at was a wet room. Okay. Do you not remember that? No, I don't. I okay. never used your shower. <laughs> sure. But yeah, there's a, there's a road there, so you just uh, come in, mirror. Yeah, fascinating. Guess what? We brought our own neck pillows because we're pe peculiar in particular. <laughs> and we use those for camping as well. <laughs> 